Hello and welcome. In our last video, we got into creating out Hawaii Paradise using image and text, uh, clipping mask method in which an image displays inside of text. Today, we're going to take this same idea and see how we can use a longer variation using multiple lines of text. We're, we're going to first begin by opening up the document provided. I can go up to File Open under Photoshop. Under File Open, I'm going to open up the All You Need Is Love template, providing out the text in separate text boxes. If I take a look at the Layers panel, All You Need Is Love, all provided in separate different text boxes. And now we're going to see how we can manipulate this type into creating out a graphic. You can display your name, modify the size of the type, enter in your first and last name, and then I'm going to reduce this file size down to about 36, just so it's displayed but out of the way. I can shift it down to the bottom right corner. Next we're going to get into arranging out our type. With All You Need Is Love you want to think about the hierarchy of information. In this statement All You Need Is Love, love is the key phrase, the key element that you want to design around. But we have to think about how we can arrange this information to read from top to bottom, left to right, making sure that the message is clear and understandable, but presented in a creative way that is going to stand out and not just be text going straight across the page. To begin with, I'm going to slide down you and need and focus just on all. With all, we can look to either go into the text box itself, or you could always use the con command or control T to do the transform and scale the type up. For today, we're going to select on the text, and I'm going to need my character panel to modify the text size. If I don't see the character panel, I can go up to Window at the top of Navigation and go down to Character. If you do have the window, we can go over to the right side and simply click on the character panel. It will be represented by this A icon with a little line next to it. In the document, it's provided with Impact Font. We're going to maintain this example just because it's quick and easy, provided on most computers. With this text, we're going to look to scale up all so it stands out. If I do want to modify the size of the text, I can move my cursor on top of the little T, big T icon on the character panel or on the contextual taskbar sitting below your text box. If I click on the drop down, you can choose out from a number of different point sizes but I often like to just use the cursor dragging over top of the set font size icon, this little t, little capital T and the big capital T. To scale up the size of the text, I can click and drag to the right. Or if I want to shrink the size of the text, I can click and drag to the left. For today, I'm going to put my text up to about 130. We can always scale the size of the text, bigger or smaller but I'm going to look to place this up towards the top left side. Then we're going to take the word U, and I'm going to align it to the left side of all. If I want to make sure that this does align, I currently have my smart guides on. If you do not see these little pink lines appearing to demonstrate the view of your text, I can go back up to view at the top navigation, check on my guides, making sure that your guides are set. So for you, I'm going to look to scale this up so that the Y is lined up with the A of all and the U extends out to the end of the L. So I'm going to highlight over the text and you can see the text box is a little bit small. If it is too small and you try to scale it up, you're going to lose letters and they're going to disappear. So just please be careful and make sure that you scale up the size of the text so it's big enough that you can scale it as you want while staying small enough that it's not going to interfere with other text boxes. If I want to be meticulous about this, I can try to see what 106 looks versus 107. And if I wanted to be really picky, I could enter in 0.5 to get the sizing right for my text. So the reason why I'm stacking up all you is that, yes, we want people to first read all 
in the statement. U is the next portion of it, but what I want to do is emphasize the word need, which is going to be the next most important thing after love. Similar to how we aligned and arranged our type for all and you, I'm going to align need to line up to the top of all, but this time we're going to extend this a lot larger. Highlighting in the text, I'm going to scale out the text box quite significantly over more to the right, and again, I'm going to click and drag on the icon to scale the size of need up. What I'm going to look to do is try again lining it up to the bottom of view. And I know that I'm having it aligned on the top of all so that it works together as one cohesive piece. If I want to slide it over to the left or right, I can always use the move tool. But I also want to create some emphasis on this type. Need is a lot larger significantly in comparison to all you, but I'm also going to look to apply an italicized variation of it. Understanding that impact font does not offer an italic version. We have the ability to use what are known as faux italic, or we could use faux bold modifications that will allow you to change the type in some creative fashion. The problem with faux bold is that it makes your text a little bit too wide and stands out in the wrong way. I could always consider maybe a underline, but with the distance, I don't like the spacing between this. So today we're just going to be using italicize, faux italic. So it creates a little bit more traction with the dynamic text off to the side. Next, we can use the word is. And is is not significant in the message, but it does still, it is still a part of it, and we do need to read it carefully. So if I want to scale this up, again, we can select on our text and look to scale it up and bigger. But you also may want to play with the arrangement. Maybe I want to have the word is on an angle or perspectively rotate it. You can always hit Command or Control T and rotate the text so it stands vertically. If I want to rotate text vertically on its side, I want to hold down Shift so that maintains the proper angle, getting it to lie 90%. With is facing downward, it automatically makes you understand that you have to go downward to read the next word or the next line of information. But again, I am using the alignment next to all you need, having the S line up to the bottom of the D. It does create a little gap in the top right, but because our need is having that italicized version, it kind of fills in that area. It's not significant. So text size, about, about 100 point. It's not standing out, it's not taking away from the image. But now we want to finally get into the word love. With love, we can look to, again, scale up the size of the text box. I'm going to extend it all the way out to the outside of your name, just so we can see the letters all the way through. I'm going to click and drag to scale it up. When it comes into placing this, if you feel like it's not fitting to what you want, you can look to tweak the text whether it's using the character panel, we could either look to extend out the size of the letters, create more spacing between them using the tracking, which I could create more space. Just be careful to make sure that the text stays inside your text box. It doesn't jump to the next line. Or if I don't like the extension of the letter, what I can look to do is use the scale to expand those letters further out. But ultimately, I'm going to try to align the L to start with where the A and U are over on the left side and have the E line up to where the is is over on the right. So it shows consistency. It fills out the space. But the, pri the primary objective of this is that we are seeing the image inside the text. And I provided the images just so we can understand and see. If I do want to move all the text, I am going to select out every layer that makes them up. I can click and drag from open outside space and click and drag them to where I'm satisfied. But again, we are going to open up some images. So I'm going to look to file, place embed. Two images provided. I'm going to start out with the sunset image. And if the image isn't fitting particularly, I'm going to look to click and drag the top middle up to the top edge. 
and the bottom metal to the bottom edge. Once scaled up, I'm going to look to move this layer underneath of all my text layers. So I can read the message overall. We see that we do lose a little bit of the bottom of love. But for a particular reason, and we'll find out short enough. Next, we're going to go file, place embedded again. This time, we're going to place in the starry sky that relates to it. And again, I'm going to click and drag from the top edge up and click and drag it down on the bottom middle to make sure that it stays aligned. And because these little guidelines, these little pink lines that appear, I know I'm getting it accurately to where I need to align the text. Now that I have the starry sky, we're going to move the starry sky above all our layers. I can click and drag over the layers panel, or I could always hit control shift right bracket. And that will jump up to the top layer so that it appears in front of everything. The problem with this is that the starry sky, when I do the create clipping mask, will only display the layer that's connected right below it. I don't want this because I'm still missing all you need is within the message. So if I want to do this correctly, I'm going to select out all the type layers. I can select on the top layer hold shift and click on the bottom of the text layers, or I could hold down control and click on each individual text layer. But the reason why we selected out all these layers is to group them into one single folder. To group them into one single folder, we're gonna click on the folder icon at the bottom, creating a group, and I just call this text. Because we have all those text layers in a folder, now when I right click on the 29912 file, I'm going to now go to create clipping mask and we see that the text fills in this starry sky aligning to the images that were provided. The final step is just making sure that the text is legible and easy to read. If I'm looking at the mountains, the mountains are matching specifically, so we're losing the bottom letters of love. So you may want to consider adding in a drop shadow and a stroke so that they stand out and you can visibly see all the text. So over, I'm over in the layers panel, I'm going to select out the text layer, click on FX, and I'm going to start out by adding a stroke. With a stroke, the color doesn't work for this design, so I'm going to look to change out the example. You could try a gradient as well, but I'm just going to go with a solid color for this demonstration. If you feel it's too heavy or too small, you can always modify the size. Make sure, again, the position of the stroke is on the outside, and the opacity should be at 100. Now that I have a stroke, I also want to add a little bit of separation from the day sky to the night sky. So I'm going to look to add in a drop shadow. With the drop shadow, my settings are going to relatively be about 85% for my opacity, or 80% for my opacity. Distance. I'm going to keep a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be too far away. So pushing it up to about 35% should be good. And the size, when you manipulate out on the sides of the text, we don't want it to be a hard edge. So I'm going to soften it up so it creates a very subtle blur behind the outside text. So we've gone through the process of adding in a stroke, a drop shadow. And when I click OK, we have our example reading from top to left, right to uh, left to right. All you need is love in a very interesting, dynamic way, not just text on a page. It's all a matter of how creative you can make the text look. So once you have the clipping mask, you have your final design. We have this very co interesting combination of having this night sky versus the sunset. And we have this meaning, all you need is love. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Come back and check out my site anytime. Have a good day.